Happening here, it is that time of year once again for time for trick or treating costumes and most importantly, yes, the ever popular carving of the pumpkins. Rhode, uh, Roger Williams Park Zoo's jack o lantern Spectacular is the event that everyone around Rhode Island gets excited for. This is where we find Brendan Kirby this morning checking out the carvings before they light up the zoo tonight. Good morning, Brendan. Good morning, Will. That's right. This is one of the events we look forward to every single year annually right here at one of our favorite places. We're back again. They really ought to get me my own room here at Roger Williams Park Zoo. This place is so awesome. We always have a blast. But it is, as you said, the 30th annual Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular kicked off last night and runs through November 4th. So fire up your favorite Instagram filter and come on out because you're going to want to take pictures of everything that's happening here and joining us this morning to tell us even more about what we need to know is John Conway. Good morning, sir. Good morning. It is so nice to have you here. Talk about your role and really what it is you do. I mean, this is going to be so much fun for the visitors, but you are heavily involved getting in there, making these designs happen, aren't you? Yes, sir. Um, well, I'm a pumpkin artist here at the Jack and Lantern Spectacular, so, um, you know, I work with uh, the other artists and we uh, design and uh, get these intricates up. So for you, I mean, how long have you been doing something like this? It's like uh, over 10 years. And how did you get going in that? Um, I have a friend that's also a pumpkin artist, so he kind of, he got me, he was my in, you know? Well, and for you, I mean, where does the inspiration come from? Certainly we know this year's theme, A Night at the Library here, and there are so many different ways you can go with something like that. So where does the direct inspiration come from, and how does the process really begin? Well, it comes from the, the creator, John Reckner. He, um, he comes up with the theme of the show, and he, and he does like a, pretty good outline of most of the skits that we break down into but um and he'll have some ideas of what he's looking for but you know he's a great guy he gives us a little bit of leeway where we can kind of uh do our own thing as well you have to have a vision but to give you that creative autonomy if you will to kind of take it your your own way must mean a lot to you as an artist i mean it doesn't get any better i mean honestly when <laughs> you don't need my help <laughs> no not at all um you know john's just a great guy you know he'd be like like uh take comics for instance He's sure. We're going to do a comic section. And um, instead of superheroes, I was like, you know, I'm going to do those other books that don't kind of get as much attention. So. And talk about the tools of the trade here laid out and how you work with them. Oh, yeah. So these are great. Um, so, I mean, we'll start out with a sketch. I mean, we just use like a pen, but then we move to uh, Sharpies. And then we do uh, a lot of grayscale markers and the good old blender, which, uh, you know, that's how the magic happens in there. And these two, can you speak directly about these two pumpkins we have here? Obviously, we know Harry Potter, but the other one, of course. Oh, yeah. Well, first, the Harry Potter. This is done by Taylor. She is a second-year artist with us, and she's doing phenomenal work. And then we have a pumpkin that I did. Uh, this is for the comic section. Uh, again, it's like one of those uh, not superhero comics, so it's lock and key. It's actually uh, written by Stephen King's son and amazing artwork by Gabriel Rodriguez. Well, you've done a remarkable job, and you and the whole team deserve so much credit. Uh, thanks for joining us here this morning, John. I appreciate it. Thank you a Great very pleasure much. chatting with this fine gentleman. We're going to learn even more as the morning rolls on, getting the inside scoop all about this year's Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular. Hard to believe they've been at it for three decades, you guys. There's lots to see and do. We'll have more for you in a bit. For now, back to you. Celebrating 30 years of Halloween magic, Roger Williams Park Zoo, Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular is the place to visit. To see more than 5,000 intricately carved pumpkins light up the night, this is where we find Brendan this morning. He's checking out all those pumpkins. How is it going? I'm doing my best to light up the morning, Will, here, right here on this fine Friday, my friend. But we're having a blast here at Roger Williams Park Zoo. Of course, the 30th Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular is now happening through November 4th. And we have a, a plethora of guests here. I will get to our superhero friends in a moment, and I'll get to you two in a moment, too, I promise. But first of all, our good friend, Dr. Jeremy Goodman from Roger Williams Park Zoo, Executive Director. Good morning. Good morning. Always nice to be here. You've got a great superhero theme here as well. There's so much happening. There is, and it's just an incredible show we have this year, as we always do. And uh, last year we added the Soaring Eagle uh, Zip Ride, and we still have that again this year. But this year we've also added theme nights, and uh, we Wednesdays and Thursday nights, which are our value nights on weeknights anyway. Um, but we want people to have uh, just such an incredible time, and we have 
uh, princesses and fairy tales. We have wizards and we have superheroes. And you encourage people to actually come dressed as we see the kiddos are ready to go in their favorite costumes as well. Yeah, absolutely. The kids should definitely come dressed up in costumes. They can meet the other costume characters. Adults can dress up in costumes. The one caveat is adults can't wear masks. Anybody 12 or over for safety reasons cannot wear a mask. But otherwise, kids, come in your costumes and have a great time. Very good tip. Safety first, of course. And just how excited is everybody here? I mean, this is a year in the making. You plan it. It takes so long. But now it's here. It's ready to go. And everyone's just delighted, aren't they? It is. Uh, last night was the first night of the show. It was, it was spectacular, as always. And, uh, you know, this weekend, we're looking for a great weekend with the holiday weekend. The weather's terrific. And just come on out and support the zoo. That's what it's all about. And I want to talk to these, of course, superheroes to my left. Wonder Woman, good morning. Good morning. We met before the break. <laughs> we did. <laughs> How excited are you to be a part of this? I am very excited. Actually, I will be here tomorrow. It'll be my first time. And seeing the faces on the kids light up, that really is what it's all about, isn't that it? That is what it's all about, definitely. You're taking a break from uh, fighting crime to be here. Yes, the kids <laughs> are what's important. Absolutely. And Spider-Man, are you ready to go, my friend? Absolutely. Can you breathe in there? Absolutely, no problem. <laughs> and how much fun is it for you just to see those faces on the kids? Um, it is the most wonderful thing in the world. Yeah, those smiling faces are really is what it's all, what it's all about. And speaking of a few of them, I'm going to get to know them. Hello, what is your name? Vivian. Vivian, how old are you? Three. Three, very nice. Are you excited about seeing all the pumpkins? Yeah. What's your favorite part about being here? Um, going to the zoo. Oh, very nice. And what are you dressed as? I think I know, but tell everybody. Lion. Very nice. And my man right here, I know who you are. Tell everybody what you're dressed as. Link. Lincoln, what's your, how old are you? Seven. Is that your favorite video game? Yeah, and tech, a little. <laughs> what's your favorite thing about being at the zoo? Uh, watch, looking at the animals. And... Yeah, there's lots of fun things to do here, you guys. Dr. Jeremy Goodman, Wonder Woman, Spider-Man, and our two young friends here. We're just having nothing but fun at Roger Williams Park Zoo, you guys. Come on out, check out the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular. We'll have more later this morning for now. Back to you. Hey, hello once again, guys. Save some of that food, as you always do for me. But we are here live. Roger Williams Park Zoo is where the 30th annual Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular is happening. It's really looking amazing. They've worked so hard getting this thing ready. You guys will want to come out and check it out, as you do every year, what's not to love. And Dr. Goodman joins us once again. You really can't do this without the help of so many, can you? No, we can't. It's 32 intense nights, and we have a great team here at the zoo, and part of that team is our sponsors. And we met part of our sponsors with Rhode Island Comic Con, uh, but our we couldn't do it without our presenting sponsor, Citizens Bank. We owe so much to them, and they've been such a great supporter of the zoo for so many years. Absolutely. And speaking of citizens, we have Brooke from Citizens right here with us this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. So nice to have you here. Talk about, you know, the involvement, the connection between Citizens and Roger Williams Park Zoo. Just a, a great partnership, if you will. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for having us. We couldn't be more excited to be here and to be a part of this event. It's such an iconic Rhode Island tradition that brings families together from all over the region, and we love to be a part of that. We want to really be a part of what people enjoy doing in their communities. So uh, we're happy to be here. We're happy to be supportive of the zoo and their important programs, their important educational and conser uh, conservation programs. And uh, we want to we want to be here and be a part of it. If you want, I can introduce you to Spider-Man. I do, yes. <laughs> Absolutely, thank you. Wonder Woman and I are getting drinks this weekend. But lastly here from, Hi. how are you? Good morning, Jen, from Roger Williams Park Zoo. Who do we have here? This is Violet, and it, Violet is a blue-tongued skink. Now, what do we need to know about a blue-tongued skink? Well, she is incredibly gentle. She's an exotic animal, so native to the, the other side of the world, Australia, that, that, air, that part of the world. Um, but she is actually wearing her Halloween costume right now. Talk to us about that. So, uh, she's very gentle in the wild. They just kind of hang out and hide out most of the time. They're omnivores, so she's going to eat a little bit of plants, some bugs, and, and little small small mammals if she can find them. But if she's threatened, she sticks that blue tongue out, and hopefully you'll see that in a minute. Um, most that, animals stick their tongues out at me, so I'm sure we're just moments away. Um, but what that does is it actually tricks other animals into thinking that she is a venomous snake. So in her habitat uh, would be a venomous snake called a blue tongue adder. So sort of a defense mechanism. Yeah, that's it. That's all she does. So she's happy to hang out here and... You know, honestly, whenever we ha we're here, we're, we're meeting one of, of the animals, I get, you know, a little nervous, just not that anything's going to happen, but yeah. because they are animals, and we, we are learning about them and sharing this earth with them, yeah. but she's very docile, seems very friendly. You know, when you see something like this, you think, oh, my God, like, I, I'm nervous, I'm extra nervous, but we really don't have to be, do we? No, 
and I mean, it, it's really about respecting an, an individual animal and understanding that they're an animal, right? And yeah. and um, just honoring kind of their role and, and just observing behavior and making sure that they're happy and comfortable. Do you just learn something new every day when you're here? Every single day I do. It's magical and I love it so much. So just to spend some time with an animal like Violet is really, it's an honor. Oh, I think we just saw, hang on. We, oh, come on, <laughs> Violet, this isn't, this isn't a rehearsal. There it is. <laughs> it's the Roadshow Talent Show right here. And when you are introducing Violet to the kids and you're seeing those smiling faces and seeing them, I would imagine they ask some of the most incredible questions. Yeah, they, yeah, they always do. Um, sometimes it's something about what they eat and how old they are. Uh, people really love to know an animal's individual story. Um, so Violet did come through the pet trade. She was a, she was actually a pet that someone could no longer keep, and that happens a lot with exotics. Um, luckily, she ended up here at the zoo. Um, it doesn't always happen that way, but we are very grateful that we have her. So thanks to the Rhode Island SPCA for, you know, uh, we worked with them to get her. Absolutely. Well, thanks to you guys here at the zoo for all the remarkable work you are doing, Jenna. Great pleasure to have you join us. Always. Thank you. All right. And Dr. Goodman, good to see you as always. Brooke from Citizens, I mean, yeah. what's not, don't we look like a lovely family and we have our own pet right here. <laughs> it's the 30th annual Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular, you guys, happening at Roger Williams Park Zoo. You don't want to miss it running through November 4th. They have worked so hard. Come on out, see all that they have to offer. Make your plans now. Back to you.